I am LaMarcia Lewis. Let's talk. Today is July the 3rd, which is Saturday, 2021. I just want to do a, hopefully a real quick commentary about Abby Huntsman. Uh, the reason I'm doing this, as many of you know, on just a couple of days ago, uh, on Thursday's episode of The View, Megan McCain announced she will be leaving The View. She will not be returning uh, for season 25, which is great news for many of us. Uh, she mentioned Abby was uh, instrumental in helping her uh, uh, with the decision. Many of us remember when Abby was on the show, which was a very short-lived uh, time for her to, to be a co-host, which I was glad because I was not a fan, nor am I a fan of Abby Huntsman. But I remember it was during the time when her dad was uh, trying to, or campaigning, uh, was running to be the governor for the state of Utah. She said there's no one she believed in more other than her dad and he had wanted her to come and be a part of his campaign. I mean, like, really? You leave from being a co-host of The View, one of the best, and, and as we know, the number one political show where you had also was a part of when you they won an Emmy. You leave to go be a campaign manager, a campaign manager for your dad's campaign. But okay, is that hey? But upon uh, her leaving, this has since came out, and the real reason Abby Huntsman left, and it says, "I don't talk much about that time, and I won't. But the decision that I made was probably the best decision I could have made for my life, for my mental health, for my happiness, for my family." It was a decision that I felt in my gut, actually, for quite some time, about making much longer, much longer than people probably realized. And when I made the decision, I remember walking outside those doors after they told me, no one quits their dream job in television. And I said, well, this isn't the dream job that I was hoping in many ways. That was as anyone should when they go quit a job, they sit down with the executive and they tell them why. And I spoke with them before that as well about concerns that I had on the show in the environment and things like that. I said walking out the door these, I said walking out these doors but I hope that Certain things that we talked about would change, but of course, everyone wants to write about the drama because that's the show. Well, when I walked out those doors for the first time, I could hear the birds chirping in the city, in Central Park, and I looked up in the sky and I thought, this is the best I did, best thing I did for myself because I can see the world. I can hear the world I'm more present and that is from a uh, spokesman uh, from Abby Huntsman giving reason why she left the view and it has been said that Abby because see Abby is a mormon and as we know those are, you know they had certain beliefs she talked about how she basically was a virgin up until meeting her husband she di she didn't she she wasn't a virgin when she married, but her husband is the only person, the uh, only man that she has had sexual relationship with, because she was trying to hold on to those her religion of being a Mormon and things of that nature. And as it had been stated, I, I've heard other people say that they don't necessarily like blacks. I, allegedly, it's been stated that uh, Abby didn't necessarily like. Sonny Halston because of Sonny being black and because of Sonny one being just an intelligent woman who has smartness, intelligence. Uh, she's professional. She's she's educated and all of that. Abby kind of somewhat didn't like that. Allegedly, I had I have heard from various commentators in that regard. So, but she came off. Abby always came off supposedly as you know the nice one. You know Abby. We like Abby. I didn't like Abby no more than I liked uh, her friend Megan McCain. But um, I was just like, who leaves a job, a, a co-host job, when you have a seat at the table? Again, with the excuse, uh, you're going to go run your dad's campaign. 
And of course, no one really knows what goes on behind the scenes. Cause we all saw how her supposedly friends, supposedly, you know, like a sister, as she has said, Abby herself has said about Megan, both of them come from political families. But let me just say this, Abby and Megan, yes, they come from, from political families, but they are nowhere near what their parents. Megan is no political analyst, nor is Abby. It's just that their dads, Megan's been a senator for years, and then, like Abby's being a dad, being also involved in politics, uh, where he was in Russia, and then he ran for governor. He didn't win the election. Uh, he, he was not chosen to be the governor of Utah. But, I mean, they think seem to think just because they're, they came from political family that automatically includes them. <coughs> Excuse me, but as that's that's just not the fact. I'm glad to see. Uh, I, I was I was like hoping um, she didn't come back. Uh, Abby, once her dad didn't win, I'm glad. I don't know. She seems to have left the spotlight. Um, I, I don't know if she's working. If so, I, to my knowledge, it's obviously not in anything with news or uh, uh, being a reporter, journalist, or co-host, or uh, commentator, anything of that nature. Probably have not heard anything. And it's my hope uh, that, like uh, Abby, she went away. Thank you. Megan has announced that she will not be returning. Thank you. It is my hope that you will never, for those two ladies, Abby and Megan, to ever have a platform where they have jobs being uh, what you want, a co-host, commentator, reporter, which uh, Abby, as many said, she was not a good fit for the view, but neither is Megan. Uh, I, I heard where uh, Ron Martin had did a commentary when Megan had talked about when many people roasted her and Keisha uh, was the best at it when she uh, roasted her when Megan tried to talk about uh, when they was talking about color and uh, people like Asian or uh, people of color when the skills uh, to be should they somebody from the view be leaving their job because of trying to act give the indication like merits are that she had that when we all know that she was only given that job because of her dad and in in, in, in her announcement whoopi even has, has been acknowledged that he said please take my daughter so abby and megan and like again going back to ronald uh, martin's uh, commentary when he mentioned where i get the gentleman name but somebody oh abby was so beautiful yeah she's a beautiful lady but <laughs> She's a beautiful lady. I, I agree. But I, Martin has said, some gentleman said, well, we're going to teach her how to be on TV. That was Martin's response. <laughs> and I do like Martin. I, I run on Martin. I love the opportunity maybe to be on his show or something to that effect. But, you know, some people are just given when others many of us have to really fight as Keisha said with tooth nail crawl walk fight with everything it's still it's hard to get a seat at the table and I don't mind doing what Shirley Chisholm said if they don't give me a seat I'm willing to bring my folding chair I am but when people are just born into privilege simply being the daughter of someone famous well known get so many opportunities the world isn't fair but it is what it is but yet we can still have our admiration we can still want believe trust in god and press for our opportunity because doors will open but we have to work for them and we have to believe that all things are possible even if we don't have a famous last name if we're not white and privileged, and if we're not rich, the doors will open. This is I am Lamarcia Lewis commentary. Let's talk.